Hi everyone and welcome to another Wix tutorial video. This is David A. Cox with Tech Talk America and in today's video I'm going to be talking about blogging. I'm going to show you uh, how to blog, how to make your blog stand out above the crowd. I'm going to give you a bunch of SEO tricks to make your blog found on the web and uh, we're going to have some fun. So I'm going to screen over here and uh, this is what we're going to be working with today. Uh, we're going to be working with the Amuse Bouche and no matter how I say that, I always sound ridiculous, so excuse it in advance. Um, uh, we're going to be using this particular template. And what I want to do is before we actually get into the class portion, I want to give you a preview of what the final product is going to look like. So uh, with everything that you see here, everything is swappable. So the images, you can swap for whatever category topic applies to whatever it is that you are an expert in. Uh, all the text, of course, as well. And one of the things I like to uh, just start off advising people is that when you go to initially create a blog within Wix, one of the things that you'll notice is there's a bunch of dummy pages that are there. And a lot of people go and just delete them because they know it's just uh, you know a placeholder and they create a new blank blog. Uh, and, and I wouldn't recommend that you do that because part of the value here is the formatting. It's already done for you, and you'll immediately pick up on that. So here we are on the front page. We have, of course, you know, little slider here. We have some paragraph text. We scroll down. These are different categories. So this would be one type of topic. This would be another and another here. We scroll down a little further and we have the first blog article. As you can see here, it gives credit to whoever is the author. You can have multiple authors. So if you want to have different people collaborate on your blog, don't worry. You can do that and you can set up profiles for everyone. It's very, very cool. Uh, and if you look down here, we have a few other features that I just want to point out. If you want, you can show how many views it has. You can also have the ability to let uh, your fans log in. They can create an account and write a comment if you want. That can have a downside to it too. Over here on the right-hand side, you can see we have a, a little place for a bio. And again, with any of these, I would never, ever recommend that you delete them. Just swap them out because that way you can keep the nice, clean, clean formatting here. I scroll down a little bit further and look here on the right-hand side. We have the ability for someone to subscribe so that whenever you come out with a new blog article, they are notified. This is the absolute easiest way to grow your fan base. Uh, now, there are a couple of different ways that you can add this feature into your website. You can use Wix's own service, or you can use a third-party service, like, for example, uh, Constant Contact or MailChimp. Now, I personally have never really used Constant Contact. I have used MailChimp for a number of years, and I've also now uh, played with Wix's own t uh, tools to do it. And I have to say that for, for any of you out there who are kind of new to this stuff, I think that the Wix... Uh, tools are actually very user-friendly. Um, the, the other services are as well. The nice thing here is that you just have a one-stop solution for all of your website needs. So I think that's just something I wanted to point out. Scroll down a little further here. Okay, we have your second article. Okay, and so on and so forth. Now, what I want to do is I want to go into one of these just so you can see that these are by no means one-page templates. So let's go into this particular blog article. Again, imagine everything here you're going to swap out with your info. Okay, title, subtitle, nice beautiful photo. And if you look at that, check it out, there's the Pinterest uh, built in right there. Okay, that's going to help you in terms of social media depending on what your topic is. And then I just want you to kind of forget what it says here. Look at the formatting. It's clean. It's elegant. It's professional. This does not look like a template. Okay, and then at the very bottom there you have your social share icons. Okay, so Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and just a typical hyperlink and your categories. Categories are going to help you out in terms of SEO. And then down below we have automatically it's going to place related posts. So very, very cool. And you can see there once again a reference to log in and leave a comment. 
the other thing I want to show you here uh, before we get over we get over to how to do this is I want to go back one page and I want to switch to mobile because one of the things that you should know is that these days the majority of people are viewing your website on mobile. This is a major, major benefit to Wix because you're getting two websites essentially in one. So let's switch over here to the mobile preview. And again, I just want you to look at how clean and how elegant this is. It is easy to navigate, so you can see how it converted those categories so that they're now single file. There's your little blog article, which you can click into. Okay, and if I even get down here towards the bottom, okay, there's the little bio. We have some images here that slide over from left to right, and if you see that little button right there, so that, that icon always means to take the person back to the top of the website. Social icons there on the bottom, okay? We go up to the top. The other thing I want to show you is how clean the menu is. So watch this. So these little three lines here at the top, that always means menu. We have your various category drop down. There are your various categories. And again, just very clean, very professional, easy to navigate. That's everything you want in a blog. So now let's go over to the Wix editor. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, and I want to show you kind of how to navigate this a little bit. So uh, as you can probably have figured out, all of the text you really just click into and type over. So you can put in whatever you want, all of your different options as far as fonts, uh, size, colors, uh, if you ever need bullets and numbering, all of those options will pop up when you double click on the text. As far as the uh, image itself here, if we click on it, you'll see right above it, we get the option here to change images. So these are the three images that are included with this particular template. Now, obviously, we're going to swap those out with our own. So let's go over here to add images. By the way, I want to just take a moment to just give you a little preview. There is a class I'm going to be doing soon on some of the third-party tools that I use uh, in maintaining Tech Talk America and some of the other projects that I'm involved with as well. Um, these are just little uh, online tools. It doesn't matter if you're, for the most part, on a Mac or a PC. Um, so if you, uh, if you like this series, I hope you'll subscribe uh, and look for that video in the near future. So uh, from here, we can, of course, upload any of our images, but just by clicking Upload. So the second category that you see here is social images. So what is great about this is that a lot of times for your business, you may be, for example, let's just talk for a moment about Instagram. Now, as of today's date, Instagram is really skyrocketing in terms of its popularity. So for those of you out there who are kind of trying to figure out what do I use to promote, Instagram is definitely one of the social networks to absolutely explore. Uh, and if you shoot images with your smartphone and upload them to Instagram, there is this easy way to communicate between Instagram and Wix. And the same thing applies to all the other services that you see here in front of you. You'll also see here the next tab is free from Wix. Now, I have mentioned this in one of the past classes, but one of the major parts of value that you get here with Wix is access to some of these stock photos. And if you look here on the left-hand side, you'll see we have quite a few different categories to choose from. Let's just go into food and drink. And uh, a lot of times what I will do is I will layer these images. So Think of more than just the image. Add text on top of it, and you completely change the image. Sometimes you add a frame or some sort of a filter. It's just an easy way to change it up. So these are just some of the high-definition images that I have access to, completely included uh, you know, with the, with the membership. And there's also an option up here for Shutterstock images. So this is a way that you can purchase photos. They're around $2.99 apiece. Okay, I don't know why it's still showing all the Merry Christmas stuff. It's it's that's long gone, uh, but you can kind of get an idea here. You know what you're going to be paying. So at three bucks a graphic. That's not actually too bad. Um, again, one of the sources that I use, uh, I'm going to be mentioning in a future video. So we'll go over that later. So at that, when you are done uploading your images, I want to talk about this over here on the right-hand side because this is really important here. With every image that you have on Wix, 
it is important to click on the image and you know go into the settings for it and make sure that this stuff here is filled out okay for a few different reasons uh, the first is the uh, title which is also known as alt text this is going to really help anyone who has uh, various disabilities anyone who's using the accessibility features on their smartphone tablet computer this is going to greatly help them so you just want to give titles to every image so that they know what it is think about it if you couldn't see the image you need to know what that image represents that's what you should have here in your title uh, and then in more of a thorough description put it in appropriately the description box this however is more for Google more than anything so uh, you just want to think like a computer you want to make everything incredibly easy for Google to find and just figure out okay this is who this person is this is what their topic is in fact I'm gonna give you another little trick that I've given to some of my clients so whatever your topic may be for what your business is what I would recommend that you do is get a post-it note okay put it next to your computer whatever it is and just write out the top five to ten keywords that you want associated with whatever it is you do okay and then when you're creating your blog when you're creating your descriptions when you're creating your alt text think about those key words because the more you put that in there without being ridiculous uh, you know to an excessive amount the better it's going to help Google figure out what you are talking about and help bring your potential clients to you so next let's go into one of these in particular blogs and let's start to make some changes to it so I'm gonna click on this particular blog and you'll notice here we get an option to manage posts let's go into that now here you can see uh, basically all the different uh, dummy posts that we have here and again a lot of people their their instinct is to delete these I would absolutely recommend that you not do that I would recommend that you go through and really look hard at each of these because they they all look different and keep in mind that you can use this as a, a way to skip the formatting challenge okay this is way way better than creating a brand new post uh, and, and on that topic if you look over here on the right hand side see how we have these three little dots if I click on that look at right here we have duplicate post okay and delete post so a lot of times if you want to create a new article what people will do is they'll just duplicate uh, one of their past articles and then just swap everything out and of course it updates the date uh, to the current date uh, but it's just an easy way to make sure that your article your blog post looks awesome so let's go into uh, let's go into the winter drinks one I've been showing you the other one here so as you can see here just again very very clean uh, the settings you'll find right here and so for example we can change whatever the post publish date is so if you need to post it in the future you can do that the post URL this is really important when it comes to that SEO thing right you want to make it easy for Google to identify what your article is about so look at how they've done it here they have little hyphens between each of the different words and you want to make sure that those words are very specifically chosen uh, what is the title on search engines Okay, you have the ability to enter in this information here. What's the post about? And check it out. It even gives you a preview of what it's going to look like to Google. So really look this over. Make sure you've got those keywords in there. You want to draw people in. You know, use those different uh, tricks that people use, of course, like the top. Anytime you do the top 10 or top whatever, that's always a great trick to get people to uh, engage with your content. Okay, let's hit cancel. Uh, and scroll down a little bit okay so you can see here where we have the different formatting options so what I would probably recommend you do is you initially maybe write your article on something like a word processor like word or pages whatever is your preference and then start to copy and paste it in here section by section okay um, that way you can preserve uh, this kind of formatting Another thing I want to point out here is look what they've done here. They put hashtags in the article. Hashtags, once again, great little trick to just help Google find your article. And this is actually a pretty good uh, number. If you can do three hashtags, that tends to be, I think, by quite a few people's uh, different count, uh, a good number, at least. You know, some people do way, way more. Also, if you look here at the bottom, we have uh, different options to add video and add an image. So, for example, if I go into video, I can just paste in the uh, link, whether it's from YouTube or Vimeo. 
And uh, just for those of you who are curious, I do recommend for the most part, there are exceptions to the rule, but for the most part, I actually recommend YouTube over Vimeo. For those of you who followed me for a very long time, uh, you, you may know that Tech Talk America originally was on Vimeo, and we ended up switching, which was the best decision among the best decisions I ever made. Uh, so uh, you just add in the link and it will add it right into your post. It's very, very cool. Now, one thing that you will notice about uh, if, if you go to use this feature to create a post instead of just creating one from scratch, and actually, let me just show you the difference here, okay? So let's go into Manage Posts one more time. But this time, uh, I'm going to just go up here to the top right, and I'm going to hit Create a New Post. Now, if you are a little bit more comfortable with design, okay, this might be a really good option for you because as you can see here, you can really add whatever it is you want into your post. The next thing I want to show you is how to alter the settings for your blog. This is going to be very helpful for those of you who are going to have multiple authors who are going to be contributing to articles because they all need to have their own space to work. So uh, let's go over how to do that. So you can hear, see here I'm on kind of the main blog page and I'm just going to click in and go this time instead of manage posts, I'm going to go here into settings. So when you come here into settings, the first thing you're going to probably want to do is go here into categories. So these are all the different topics that we currently have. If you want to rename them, all you got to do is click on the three little dots and go to rename. Next, let's go here into settings. So here you can see you can change the subject matter of whatever your blog topic is. You can see the various options we have there. Setting the language. If you want to turn on or off the view counter, especially when you're new, a lot of times you don't want to you know, admit that only five people have seen your blog. Okay, so if you want to turn that off, you can hide it right there. Uh, if you want to disable the login feature, you can turn that off right there. If you want to add members and all those settings, this will take you to the portal where you're going to start to set those features up. And then finally down here we have blog privacy. So you can say who can write posts in your blog, owners and writers only or all members. I think probably for most of you are going to choose that top option. Next, let's go here into layout. So here you can see we have different uh, layouts that we can choose from as far as the blog. So let me just kind of give you an idea. So this right here is the tiled look. Okay, so now that you've kind of seen those articles in the background, that's what tiled looks like. Next, let's see how it looks side by side. Okay, and again, just, you know, keep in mind that it's going to look slick you know, not just in, in desktop version, in the desktop version, but also in the mobile version. Magazine, okay, it's a very cool, very new uh, type format. Editorial, where you've got three columns. Brick, where it's a little staggered, like that. Postcard, which is a little similar to magazine, just smaller. One column, which is basically, I think that was what we were on originally. And then the full post, okay, so that would be the entire article in uh, just kind of one long continuous page. I would say probably for the most part, stay away from that one. Then down here, let's go back to, uh, you know what, let's go to magazine. I kind of like that one. Okay. Kind of, no, postcard, okay. Uh, design, okay, so here's where we can uh, change out the navigation menu, colors, uh, alert icons, all that stuff there. So the header is the very top part of the website, so you can check it out here. In this case, it's turned off. And now I turn it on so we can kind of add that little welcome screen there. And the last thing I want to kind of talk about here is uh, just a, about uh, SEO in general. One of the things you want to try to do if, if you do decide to get into blogging is rather than initially coming out with 10 articles all at once, you want to get on sort of a, a type of a schedule so that maybe you blog every Tuesday afternoon or whatever day it is that you decide to choose. Uh, and, and I will say that you might want to consider putting some thought into what time your articles come out. If, for example, a lot of people don't come out with news on a Monday because on Monday people are typically getting caught up with everything from over the weekend. So uh, typically I tend to come out with new stuff on Tuesdays, um, but you by no means have to follow my lead on that. So just do some research uh, in regards to whatever topic uh, you are covering. For example, if you're a restaurant blogger, in that case, yeah, Friday might be a really good day to come out with your new content. So do your research and uh, just know that your consistency is going to ultimately impact uh, how well you rank on Google and other search engines.
Thank you for watching, everyone. Uh, just a little reminder, if you have not signed up yet for Wix, uh, there's a link to where you can do so in the description of the video. We do greatly appreciate if you use that link. It is an affiliate link, and it helps allow me to continue to make these videos for all of you to enjoy. So thank you for watching, everyone. This is David A. Cox with Tech Talk America. Class dismissed.